So many YouTubers have such inspirational voiceovers. The best I can give you right now is this. I'm on a quest to suffer in the ways that feel familiar. But, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it, goddammit. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Do you want some Celsius? This is my favorite energy drink at the moment. Wildberry. I'm heading over to Steffi's and we're going on a grand adventure. I've met up with her a few times while I've been here and we're gonna go into the mountains. I might need to do a video of me recharging my AC. I don't know how to do that actually, but maybe I could try. Okay. Come on, Sit. Good boy. This is it, the whole family's going. So we're going to Pisgah National Forest. Me and Steffi. Hello. And here. we're gonna drive and we're gonna try and find a free camp spot. Refreshment center. We actually found an amazing camp spot right in front of the mountains. Look at that. So it's a beautiful day. It's very warm. Look at those views. We decided to do Pisgah National Park again because it is a huge national park that runs west and east of Asheville. It also has the most dispersed free camping sites. Sometimes you can look them up online, sometimes you have to just go and look for them yourself. Now that we scored a free amazing camping spot, it's time to look up things to do around the area and we're thinking waterfalls. What's the Wi-Fi password? Oh, um, look it up. It doesn't come in that. A little back yeah isn't that cute? cute it is there you go it's pretty fast too all right so let's i guess we just look up a waterfall waterfalls near me it's really made it helpful having an internet out here and the reason is is that nomad internet sponsored me for this video which i'm really happy about because i actually needed internet nomad internet is america's largest high-speed internet for people that are on the go and they recently launched nomad air which is 5g portable internet that you can take anywhere with you since it provides really fast internet even in remote areas like the pisgah national forest i could stream movies or do my work out here in nature without worrying about interruptions because it has c-band which is really cool and if you get the travel kit you can have internet for a week without any electricity. So I'll show you how that works. It comes with the modem right here and it has the battery with it as well. And this lasts up to a week and you can just turn it on and off with a switch if you don't even want to open the bag. So Nomad Air is great for RVers, van lifers, families on road trips, digital nomads, people like me. And you can get 10% off with my link, which is in the description, it's Victoria Rose. Be sure to use the link below to go and get Nomad Air, which so far that I've been using it, it's really, really fast. And I'm really happy because I don't have any signal out here with my normal phone. And I tend to go off signal a lot whenever I'm going in the mountains and stuff like this. Ooh, we should go to Linville Gorge. What about some, oh, Bard Falls looks pretty nice. And there's also Linville Falls. And also Grassy Creek looks quite pretty as well. We'll wake up at um, seven o'clock. 6.30, we can have a call from someone. Probably my my debt collectors. <laughs> <laughs> so we figured out our plans for tomorrow, which are it's going to be waterfall hunting. But we want to stay here because we don't want anyone else getting our really 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 nice camp spot. These are the little snacks that I got. I got these dark chocolate figs, which are really really good. I've never had a chocolate covered fig before. And I got some vegetarian hot dogs, bananas, oranges, oatmeal. I got this. That I've been taking lion's mane turkey tail. I heard that like mushroom supplements are really good for you. 
I've been trying to work up into liking hiking more. I'm not a hiker. I'm not a camper. Uh, naturally, I have never really had appreciation for those things. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, it smells so nice out here. Good boy. But I'm trying to work up more to it because I do want to try and do some really difficult, challenging things. So we just got back from that pretty long hike with the dogs. I need some water. So I had someone comment on one of my videos that I keep running this dry, which is really bad for these, and I know that, but don't really have a choice. And it was so cheap that I'm not really too worried about it. I'll run it for as long as it works. And then if it breaks, I'll have to get a new one because I can't keep it full of water up the whole time. But I can the duration that I'm at this campsite. I got a new battery, which I'll show you in the next video. It's a thousand watts and it's much more powerful than the other one and also a new solar panel. I have a power, water, uh, internet, a bed, a stove. <sighs> so nice out here. Is that good? Hello. But it's basically the same thing. You just go, you do like a figure eight with it. And then, actually, I need to practice. Yeah, see, you got it. Someone comes up on this campsite. You yeah. Know which I mean, it, I hit myself with them, they hurt. <laughs> yeah. They're much heavier than I expected. These ones are pretty cheap and the chain's too long in them, so it's really hard to do things. You can like get it from the back. I'm going to collect some sticks for a fire now. Get some dry wood to start the fire. And we're going to try and start this fire the old fashioned way. With a flint stick. Whenever I make a fire, my brain goes little sticks, big sticks. I've never started a fire with this thing before. I've never actually even started a fire just in general, I don't think. So we need to kind of like TP these up a bit and put this underneath it. If we do this enough by ourselves, eventually we'll get really good at it. Okay, I trust you. No, don't trust my judgment because I, like I said, I've never done this before. <laughs> it's a survival skill. My sisters are really good at this kind of thing. So we'll put this under here. I'm just trying to start it with this. If I get this, I'm gonna feel very empowered. If I don't, I'll feel very disempowered, especially after stepping on my pee. <laughs> so maybe you can sit over here and maybe kind of block the wind a little. Like this, it's not gonna burn you. Come on, burn, baby, burn. We'll just transition from that. <laughs> <laughs> we need more like little sticks and stuff. That's how you do it, right out of flint. Just like that. <laughs> wonder if I should hot dog hour? It's hot dog hour. I wonder if we should push one of these down because it's a bit too... Yes! Fire dance. <laughs> Kind of hard fire to go up and down. <laughs> All right, let's get the hot dogs. I got my hot dogs. Double cool. dog roaster nine thousand. Oh, look at that! Look at those two prongs. You wanna grab the hot dogs from your oh, fancy yeah, fridge? Yeah. 
biscuits. Glorious. Careful with that, it's dangerous. All right, just stick the whole package on there. Oh no. It's like this was made Dos. for this exact yeah. purpose. What? Wow. Oh, that one's a bit. Here, wait, let me fix it. I don't know how to handle wieners anymore. <laughs> I don't mind mine being a bit burnt. You can burn it if you want. No pressure. Don't burn yourself. Yeah. It's quite hot. Alright. <laughs> like... Yeah, <laughs> we're prepared. <laughs> Nothing like roasted hot dog. With no bun and no ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We did good. We're good. Mm -hmm. We should go on that TV show, um, Naked and Afraid. Yeah, we should. I feel like I wouldn't survive well because I just wouldn't want to. <laughs> like people would annoy me. I'd be like, what's the point? This is good. I could hunt. I think that's where I'd lose it. And yeah. Like, okay, I'll starve. I wouldn't be able to do it either. I wouldn't sit right with me more early. <laughs> I'm going to make some soup along with the hot dogs. I got a couple things from my wish list that are really cute. I got this cup that's like a beaker. I got this whole allspice thing. Right over there. <laughs> yeah, I'll live. <laughs> mm, <laughs> proper. <laughs> Wonderful. It's much warmer this night than it was the other night. I use this um, remineralization toothpaste. I don't like to use fluoride. It was so, so kind before when I said I was cold, like people sent me some stuff off my wish list to help me stay warm. One of the things being a car blanket, which I can hook this in to my power bank if I needed warmth. I have that, and then some people got me some hand warmers. All right, it's time for bed. I'm not cold. I'm in my nightgown. I have my little fan here whenever I go to sleep. My phone charging. And tomorrow we're gonna try and catch the sunrise. sunrise. I have never do that. Our friend Jessa pulled up with her van to spend the day with us. I didn't sleep at all last night. At all. But it wasn't because I was cold. So, um, it's just hard to sleep. I don't know. Oh.
very, very tired, but in a very relaxed, nice nature type of way. So I'm just having a very slow morning, which is good because I got up really early. And I thought I'd show you the supplements that I brought with me to take. I've been taking, well, I always take a probiotic. I take, I've been taking NMN for a, a couple months. Just, um, I guess I got some glucosamine for sale and it's good for your joints. And like I showed you yesterday, I got this lion's mane turkey tail mushroom supplement, which I just started taking. Today didn't go as amazing as yesterday, as the waterfalls that we planned to go to were actually closed when we got there. And so we ended up at Chimney Rock, which is an 8,000 acre park about 30 minutes outside of Asheville. It features a 315 foot granite monolith, which you can climb up to or take an elevator. It was a very hot climb as the temperature is around 80 degrees, but the views were very, very nice. On a waterfall. We had to go into Chimney Rock to get to this waterfall. It's not the one that we originally wanted to because we had to pay to get into Chimney Rock, which I hate touristy things. This may look really pretty, but it's all access off. So we're gonna try to sneak over there before we leave. It's a very, very beautiful, tall waterfall. Oh, I'm so sweaty, I'm so hot. I'm not used to being this hot, it is insane. So, yeah, we went up the chimney and then waterfall, you get a $17 pass for everything. Um, I wouldn't do it again because I don't like touristy things, but that's just the option we had today. We need to go find a lake somewhere and get some food or I will die. The lake was dried up. <laughs> no water today. I'm exhausted, but today just did not go according to plan. I just got some fries at the restaurant because I didn't have anything I could really eat. <laughs> so, today is just today. It's been a very long day. I just went to the grocery store and I'm really hungry. This is so hot. I'm overheated. You have to understand what the highs of life. There's always lows of life and I always want to show that to you. I just wanted to show you guys this book real quick before I end this video. I'm going to read it. Bushcraft 101. I got it for my wish list. Maybe I'll learn how to actually start a fire properly. Anyways, thank you so much for coming along in this venture with me and Steffi. It was really nice to go camping together for the first time because we've never actually done that before. We've traveled together but not camping like that. So that was fun. And stay extraterrestrial and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.